Hello and welcome to part two of the Obscure Quarterback Football Card Collection video. Um, let's get right into it, right where we left off. We have a Mark Sanchez patch card from Epix. Um, who did Epix? Uh, Panini. This card is numbered 24 of 50. And I wanted a Sanchez auto. They were, they were expensive. Um, and I picked this patch card because it is kind of a nice patch for a little patch. And it is game used. next one we have Jimmy Clausen this is kind of a it's from Panini gridiron gear um, we have a football with a, a hole in it there which I guess is where one of the laces would go if it was an actual football and we have a just barely a two-color patch Jimmy Clausen next we have Rep Bomar Rep Bomar is an interesting one this guy was a, a top prospect coming out of high school top recruit and he went to Oklahoma, played really well at Oklahoma, but he got kicked off the team for accepting endorsement money from like a car dealership or something like that. He had a brief run in the NFL. Um, it's a shame he didn't get a chance to, to be a starter. I think this guy had a lot of talent. This card is from National Treasures. Looking at a Bomar Auto um, that I kind of like, I'm very tempted. All right, now on to the autos. We're going to start off with a couple of John Skelton autos. I, I tacked these on to another order because they're from the same seller. They were, they were very cheap. John Skelton is kind of a guy who made his way to the NFL mostly on the merit of, of being tall and being able to throw pretty far. He came out of Fordham, hung around in the NFL for a few years. This is from Playoff Contenders. I think it's a sticker auto. It is a sticker auto. It's pretty well hidden there, but um, it is numbered. Uh, I thought it was numbered, but can't find it next another skeleton uh this one's from tops chrome <laughs> another john skeleton uh this one's from bowman sterling um, another sticker auto not numbered i guess and we have another cart a very obscure cardinals quarterback max hall i believe this guy actually started a game he came out of byu um, played for the uh, played for the Cardinals. He had an interesting signature there at the number six. This is from Donris. Another Cardinals quarterback. Interesting. Uh, Timmy Chang. Uh, Timmy Chang had the a lot of NCAA records for passing, um, despite not being that great of a quarterback. He he played for four years. And they, they threw a lot. So he threw for a lot of yards with like, I think he threw for like 50% or something like that with a lot of, with a lot of picks. Um, and I think he, he, when he was in the NFL, he got a DUI or something. He, he didn't stay around long in the league. Um, but I was pretty stoked to get this card. Timmy Chang, legend. Uh, this is from Top's Finest. I don't think it's numbered. Next up, Joey Elliott from Purdue. From Sage Hit. Uh, I don't know if this card is numbered. Don't have much to say about Joey Elliott because I don't really remember much about him. Um, up next is Alan Bridgeford. I, I pulled this out of a box of uh, Army All American from a few years ago. Um, I think this guy went to Cal. Mm, don't quote me on that. I don't really remember anything about this guy. The Army All American game is for, for high school seniors. Um, so there is pretty wide range of outcomes when it comes to these guys. And next we have another pack pull card. This is CJ Beathard from Hit or yeah, it's from Hit. Um, CJ Beathard's still around. He's he's pretty good. He plays for the 49ers. <laughs> pretty weird signature from CJ there. Um, up next, ooh, this is a good one. Jared Lorenzen, um, famously known as the, the Pillsbury throw boy. His kind of claim to fame was that he was kind of fat. He, he played quarterback. He went to either Memphis or Kentucky. I don't remember which one. Those teams have like the same uniform. I think he went to Kentucky. Um, hung around in the NFL for a while. He's been in the news occasionally. Um, I guess he's had a lot of health problems and stuff. He has a, a cool signature. I like this card a lot. This is from Bowman Chrome. Next, we have Dane Christ. I actually have a couple Dane Christ cards. 
Uh, Dane originally went to Notre Dame. Uh, there were some high expectations for him. He was a, he was a big guy. Let's see. Um, we don't have height and weight on this card, um, unfortunately. But he's a big guy, strong arm. Uh, he just wasn't that good. He, he eventually transferred to Kansas. I don't know if he did anything in the NFL at all. This is uh, Upper Deck Star Rookies. And we're at five minutes. Um, so I will see you in the next one. Thanks.